clean it, but I don't want to. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Ailey. If you are not, then it's good to see you again. Hello, welcome back. We have another video. Woo! I'm so tired. I can't even like begin to explain how tired I am because um, we've had a busy morning so far and have I filmed any of it? No, because um, I'm stupid and I forget. Well, not that I forgot. It's more the fact that, what is going on with my hair? I don't know. Let me explain while I sort this monstrosity out. But basically, I had to drop off my sister at work. She basically works in a zoo voluntarily. Like, ah. Uh, lucky her so i had to drop her off at work at like 8 a.m so that was that was fun so i got up at like probably seven something like that and then took her to work then i came back then i did makeup um and obviously it was really i still don't like my hair and obviously it was still really tired because it took me forever to do by the time i actually finished doing my makeup i then had to take my nan to the hospital to get her blood done and i was supposed to say this really long word that i still now can't remember even the receptionist told me what it was called and can i remember no like it was ridiculous like i'm dyslexic enough bleh, bleh, bleh. i'm dyslexic enough as it is i can't remember words like that they don't stay in my head so it was fine my nan got her stuff done but she's probably the most stubborn woman i I have ever met i told her to wait by the car did she wait by the car no she just walked away and i lost her for a second but then i found her it's fine it was all right <laughs> so that was eventful and now i'm back home i'm supposed to be tidy in my room now will i no because i just want to read my book i really i just i just want to read i don't want to do any of the jobs that i'm supposed to do today this is supposed to be a productive day in my life it will still be a productive day in my life but i just need a bit of downtime i'm gonna make a coffee soon but i've run out of vanilla syrup so um, i'm very upset and i don't want to go out all the way to starbucks which is across town to get one so i'm just like sucking up and just having a normal iced coffee even though it's not as exciting but it's fine we're fine totally fine yesterday though i did have a bit of a spell yesterday which wasn't good at all i did get very anxious all of a sudden and it literally popped up out of nowhere do you ever get like that where all of a sudden you're like overthinking everything like something is wrong or something is going to happen that is wrong and you just get overly anxious yeah that was me yesterday it was great but it's fine now i'm better now all i needed was i was on facetime with my cousin and then i went to bed pretty much so yeah here we are but i went to bed late as well which never helps so i woke up tired but here we are i'm finally starting this video let's have a productive day together we can do it um and i'm not quite sure what i'm gonna do with my hair maybe i just like chuck it up in a ponytail because my claw clips obviously not wanting to cooperate today i was supposed to wash my hair yesterday did i no did i forget yes but it's fine i'll just i'll wash it some other day maybe i'll wash it tonight i might wash it tonight actually how does that look why do i always worry about my hair i feel like every single video I'm always complaining about my hair. I don't mean to, it just kind of happens. But you can tell I don't wanna like actually do anything productive because I'm still talking. <laughs> Great, okay. Anyway, we're gonna try and seize the day. It's 12 o'clock and I'm gonna read my book. Yeah, so let's, let's, let's just go do that. Do you wanna see my outfit? No. So, is this is a fit for today. Hopefully, hopefully. And I'm saying hopefully it stays sunny all day and it doesn't rain because if it rains, I swear to God, I am like taking this off and I'm putting joggers on. Or my OD, actually. One or the other. I don't really know. But I'm still talking. Ah! Okay, <laughs> let's read. <laughs>
stuff that has been moved? No. But at least it's here. True. It's fine. But I can sit here and read with you. Yeah, of course. It's just that you usually go up there. Well, yeah, because it's usually Karen's down here or Saucer's down here. just got changed because I've decided to go to the gym. Yes. Okay, cool. Back workout women. Do these exercises for your next back workout. Starting with straight arm pull downs. Starting with your arms straight above the head, drive the bar down. I want like a really nice back. She's got a nice back. I can't do pull ups. Okay, I think I might do this workout. I'm gonna make a note of what to do. I might stretch here now actually because I have like resistance bands that I can use, but I don't really wanna like carry my bag around when I'm in the gym. Like I like putting it in a locker and then just having like my phone. I might do that actually, yeah. So we're gonna go to the gym now. I don't think I'm gonna film myself at the gym um, because, well actually no, it depends if people's people are there. If there's loads of people there, then I won't. But if there's not that many, and I can like hide my phone because it'll be on my phone, then I will. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna list these exercises and then we're gonna go to the gym. Bye. <laughs>
haven't read that. Yes, I have. The X Talk. You do need to read The Fine Print. It is a good book. I think you'll like that because I really like Terms and Conditions, the second one in that series. Oh, this one sounds fun. Shay Goldstein has been a producer at her Seattle public radio station for nearly a decade and she can't imagine working anywhere else, but lately it's been a constant clash between her and her newest colleague, Dominic Yun, who's fresh off a journalism master's programme and convinced he knows everything about public radio. Mm, I think I generally have that book, actually. Really? I think I have it. The X Talk. Yeah, nice. I'm pretty sure I do have it. I've got I've it, but I haven't. The Addicted series. Have you have you I... heard of that? what the addicted series oh uh, yeah i want to read that series i haven't got it though but apparently it's, it's good uh, that's the sort of thing i get on my kindle because i don't like the cover it's i need to really get a kindle one, day today i would say i think so it's been on the more chill side this evening but yeah i've been on facetime with my cousin pretty much since i got back from the gym like had a shower and i got into knee pajamas because i couldn't really be asked to do anything else if i'm going to be honest but i'm so tired it is like gone past 10 o'clock and i'm already ready to fall asleep but because we were up early we did a whole load of errands this morning that i didn't film because i'm stupid <laughs> and then we read some of my book and then i got some of my planning work stuff done and then i went to the gym and then i came back and had a nice cozy evening talking to my cousin and now i'm about to watch a film i'm either gonna watch the whole of the film or i'm gonna start watching it and then end the night reading my book. I'm not quite sure which one I'm going to pick. But we're going to start by watching the film. Because I've been wanting to watch the film First Daughter. It's like a 2004 film. So I think we're just going to end the night like that. And then just see what happens I think. I don't know why I'm still rambling. But yeah. Let's watch this film. <laughs> Thank you. 